Hello, good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Just you had a beautiful day. I don't know whatever time you chance to listen to this audio message. I believe you had a beautiful day. And if you're just waking up, hope you had a pleasant night rest. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me use this privilege to um wish us a blessed new month happy new month welcome to the month of august where we have a lot of goodies in abundance where we have a lot of packages in abundance testimony abounds a lot of these don't worry you're gonna make sales this very month trust me once you have the faith you're gonna make sales you're gonna gain mastery this month you're gonna you're gonna be doing well this month yes amen so I just want to have a very short and let me say a very short discussion with us within a few minutes I'll be done all right so I'll be talking about um, a very interesting topic titled why you haven't gained mastery why you haven't gained mastery so mastery is spelled m-a-s-t-e-r-y why you haven't gained mastery all right to understand the word mastery i'm going to give us a perfect illustration a perfect example to understanding that very word okay so taking for instance i believe most of us have heard about master's degree that's if you're a university um it's a university it's um an academic qualification when you're talking about mastery master's degree is an academic qualification that is granted to just the postgraduates that is if you're an individual that is in the postgraduate level you have this academic qualification it's more it's more like a certificate you have it after you're done with your schooling then that shows that you have successfully undergone study and it also demonstrates a high level of expertise in a specific field of study which means there is always an academic qualification there is always a qualification you get for gaining knowledge or there is always a qualification you get most times when probably you want to study um on a particular business or you have a particular business you're working on okay taking for instance you're a fashion designer if you're a fashion designer you have a qualification at the end probably you get a certificate if certificate will be awarded to you like you've done you've gained mastery in this very field yes same as a graphic designer same as a copywriter same as every other business we have out there so now like i said i'm talking about gain mastery i believe you understand what gaining mastery means which means you've acquired a a high level let me say a high level of knowledge compared to when you were ignorant or where you compared to the um to the latter when you don't have any knowledge when you don't have knowledge about um a particular field of study before all right i'll be talking under this topic i have a subtopic titled the money mindset versus the learning mindset i'm not going to take very much of your time i'm not going to take too much of your time just a very brief discussion the money mindset versus learning mindset all right before i i don't want to digress but before i go into this deeply i want to clarify something that money mindset is and is a healthy mindset sorry is a healthy mindset why the learning mindset is also a healthy mindset hope you're getting it the money mindset is a healthy mindset the learning mindset is a healthy mindset and it is expected of you to have those mindsets the two yes you shouldn't neglect one you shouldn't leave one for the other no they work hand in hand now now you having these two mindsets now now depends if you want to be victorious in this very in utilizing or using this um working on this mindset we're talking about then you need to place one up you need to bring one um you need to place one in order of priority one needs to be above which means you need to start with one before you get to the other one and if you are going to place one above one learning comes first before you make money 
which means you have the learning mindset first before you start having the money mindset. Yes, I've seen a lot of people have made a lot of creatives, have made a lot of graphic designers that placed money mindset um first before learning mindset. Trust me, once they get to the end of the journey, when they almost want to read the end of the journey, they have issues. And <laughs> you know the funniest thing? It is that time the money they've made, they will now start using it to invest on the knowledge they fail to gain. And at the long run, they find it so difficult to put things together to understand this knowledge they are gaining, this knowledge, this learning they are into. Now, one beautiful thing is, why don't you start with learning? See, the thing is, yes, every one of us want to make money. Yes, sure, we want to make money. I personally want to make money. But once you begin to leverage on the fact that you want to um, make money at all costs, like, okay, taking for a graphic designer, you say that, ah, is it possible? I will be doing work. Mama, she said, no, I will be working and I will not see money. No, it's not possible. Then they have the mindset of, ah, I must make money. Even even a two-year-old designer will say, ah, I want to make money, say, like, I need money, I need cash, I need a go. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, that's what money mindset, um, <laughs> that's what money mindset is all about. If it is placed as the main priority, that's if it's before the learning mindset. So I just want to urge us that we learn first before we have the money mindset. It's good to have a money mindset. Like I said, it is healthy, but learn first, then you make money. Why is it? Why do you see successful people like um, successful people in probably graphic in graphic design business now? Graphic design business. You've seen a lot of successful people make money, make thousands, make millions. Yes, it's because they learn, they learn, they place learning first before um, before money. Yes, they placed learning first on their table. They they, they prefer to be served a learning. <laughs> Let me, not just, let, me not, let me not digress. They learn first before they decide to have a money mindset. So I would just urge us that learn at all costs. Learn, learn. Take your time to learn. You are not too young. You are not too old rather to, to start learning something now. Learn, learn, learn. Learn until you 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 felt like um, there's nothing to learn again. Actually, we learn every day. So learning never ends. Learning doesn't stop. Learning continues. So keep learning, learning. Then as you've attained to, you've gained um, a particular knowledge, probably you think the knowledge knowledge you've gained is very high. Yes, you can now start developing the money mindset and still keep learning. You understand the facts. So that's just it. Just, just this. take your time. Take your time to learn. Then you make your money. Thank you for your precious time. I hope you gained something new. <laughs> it's more or less like a new month package. <laughs> Alright, thanks for your time. Um, my humble self is Oluwagbemigabiodun. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to the audio message. God bless you. Have a nice day. Thank you.